All right, recording in five, four, three, two. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Something Interesting with Robert Rucker. I am your host, Robert Rucker, and I'm here with Mr. Lorenzo Murphy Jr. Sir. You know, Zoda Motivator, say something to the camera, you know? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Zoda Motivator coming live and direct. Happy to be here, man. Live and direct, live and direct. Hey, it's, it's, it's our pleasure. Um, we're just gonna have a real chill conversation, you know, uh, just about your life, about your experiences. So, so, so what's your major? My major is film. Film, film and television uh -huh. at Morehouse is called C Temps. It's uh -huh. an acronym from Cinema, Television, and Emerging Media Study. Did you know you wanted to go into uh, C Temps when you got here? No, I was kind of lost. Mm -hmm. As most of us are. I was still kind of <laughs> lost a little bit. <laughs> when I first got to junior college, I was majoring. In, I majored in uh, kinesiology. That's the major a lot of us sports fanatics want to major in. Mm -hmm. I majored in psychology. Mm -hmm. and I majored in, majored in sociology and African American studies. Before I got to Morehouse. Four major, golly. <laughs> but it was junior college though, so it was just like. Classes, uh -huh. okay. And when I got to Morehouse, I literally was sitting on my advisor and I'm like, okay. He like, I was like, what do I want to do? And I was looking through the list and it said cinema and television. And I was just like, uh, which one don't I have to take the most math for? <laughs> <laughs> you have to take a lot of math for this one? Uh -huh. And he was like, nah, so. I ended up just choosing C Temps. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was it. You know? And yeah. So you so you wanna go into into the entertainment industry? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I wanna go. I, I know I'm in the entertainment industry. Uh-huh. I'm still looking to progress into it. Uh-huh. This so, is the entertainment industry right here. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So as a director, as a actor, as a producer, as I'm all, you know. Let me just say it like this. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. Give give me your dream. I don't want the the watered down right. version or anything. Right, I want you to tell me who I'm Lorenzo a, I'm, is. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, look. I'm a Renaissance man. A Renaissance man is somebody who's talented in different areas. Mm -hmm. I can sing. I can write. I can act. You know, I like to interview. I like to host. I like to perform. I love kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say it like this. I remember. I'm not gonna say I remember. Somebody I looked up look up to is Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure when Tyler Perry was 23 years old, <clears throat> he knew he wanted to do all these things. You know, he knew he wanted to act. He knew he wanted to produce. He knew he wanted to direct. To, to direct. Mm -hmm. He's doing to all find. of that now. Yeah. But when he told people that, they probably looked at him like, bro, you got to choose one. You, you got to choose mm. one. You can't wear many hats. Mm -hmm. And in that situation, I'm, I'm there right now. Mm -hmm. I'm doing literally everything I want to do. I have different talents that I feel like I can master. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I need. I know it's going to take one thing. You know, I, I I'm going to take that Tyler Perry approach, mm -hmm. and hopefully soon I can have a conversation with him. Like, what was your what was your thoughts at that time? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not saying I'm lost because I know where I am. It's me and God. I know you're talking to me, God. <laughs> <laughs> but when I when it comes to me really explaining to people what I want to do, it's hard because I do a lot, mm -hmm. um, and you want to keep doing it. I want to keep doing it. Another thing. Like people try to live vicariously through you because they weren't able to do what they wanted to do. So mm. some people have, some people, some of the people in my family or people are like mentors or they didn't go to college. Mm -hmm. So they trying to live their dream through me. Mm -hmm. And that's put a lot of pressure on me. You know, mm -hmm. my mom didn't go to college. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to make it to where I got it. I'm able to take care of her. Mm -hmm. And that put pressure on, that put pressure on me. And then, you know, sometimes I don't feel like people see, not say my vision, but they don't, I don't feel like people see like, your what vision, I, and so yeah. what is your vision? You know, my vision. And the thing is, it's even more. hard to explain it because I see it. Sometimes I have a hard time explaining that I see myself like an Oprah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say I see myself like a P Diddy mm -hmm. or like a, a, a Barack Obama. I really feel like I could be the president of the United States one day. But how do you tell somebody that mm. when they're working, when they've never even even took a step into following the dream that they've always had? You know, mm. some some people are doing things in their life that. Um, you know, that people want to do for him. Like he said, you know, his mom wanted him to go to Morehouse. Mm -hmm. So many people are here at Morehouse only because their parents want mm -hmm. them to go to Morehouse. So many people are in fraternities because they have to live up to a legacy. Mm -hmm. That leaves no room for them to create their own legacy. That leaves room for them to follow a path that was created for them by somebody else. That's not God's plan for them. Mm -hmm. And so many times we listen to our parents' plan and not God's plan. Mm -hmm. And God is a jealous God, you know, and yeah. even in that, like, 
it makes you question everything. Like, who are you really living for? Mm -hmm. Like, whose purpose are you really living for? I don't know, man. I'm not, I try not to get too deep, but like, these are my experiences, bro. No, like, I think it. I think it's important to get deep because that's where you ask the questions that need to be answered, yeah, yeah. or that needs to be answered for you to really understand who you are. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like asking why? Why am I here? And why are people trying to put their thoughts of me on me? Like, why can't I just be me? Right. You know. Right. And I think I think it's so it's so hard sometimes because when let's say your parents can't see the vision you have for yourself the vision got put in you like that's not an accident that right. you have that. Right. when your parents can't see that they'll demean your dream mm -hmm. and it's so hard because it's coming from the person essentially that you might look up to right 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 you know and, and i think that that hurts the most because it's like you hold certain people to certain um, you give them, you give them certain people certain power in your life. Mm -hmm. Your parents will always have a power in your life. Certain mentors will always have a power in your life. And you really value what they tell you. But a lot of times, as you seek God more, mm. as you literally worship and you pray, you hear God, you feel God leading you into situations. And you spend more time with yourself than you do with anybody else. Mm -hmm. So only you really know what you go through. Mm -hmm. Only you really know what you think. Only you really see the visions and ideas that happen. And sometimes those visions can be so big it is scary. Like, mm. and a lot of times, even growing up in Compton, like I knew the hood was a temporary place for me. Now I'm not saying the hood was bad because for me it wasn't. The homies really believed in me, mm -hmm. really and truly. The homies and drug dealers and pimps and people sitting on the bus stops that were on drugs, like those are regular people to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those are the people who told me you gonna have your own TV show, mm -hmm. man. You gonna be the president of the United States. Like, I got people in jail, homies in jail, serving years in prison, telling me, bro, like. Like, I really see your journey, bro. Like, I really believe, like, you're gonna really make this happen, you know? So, I have a question. So, with all of that, could be seen as pressure, it could be seen as just inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Coming to Morehouse, did you feel like, like a lot of pressure, you know? Ooh. Oh my goodness, all of these people believe in me. What if I let them down? What if I can't live up to their expectations of, of me? Of course, uh -huh. I, I felt that pressure. Like I told you, man, uh, before I got to, before the Morehouse was even an idea, it was a dream, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And there, there are steps you gotta take in order to make a dream come true. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to go through a process. Mm -hmm. First it becomes the idea, then it becomes the act, and then you just, you go into a phase where it's like, do I wanna do this, should I do this? People coming at you, mm -hmm. you shouldn't go to more house. You mm -hmm. fight that, you know this is what you wanna do, this is, you know this is on your heart. You fight these things. So I go to my story, it's a dream for me, Somebody, you know, one of my mentors in high school, two of my mentors in high school were Morehouse men. His name, uh, one of the name is Lorenz Willis and one name is uh, Derek Florence. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they introduced the Morehouse idea to me. I was interested in it. I took my own visit. You know, I did what I had to do to, to try to get to Morehouse. High school, um, I applied after high school, had a, a 3.6 GPA, but I had the lowest test score in mm -hmm. SAT and ACT. Mm -hmm. So I applied, they didn't accept me the first time. Really? Yeah, they didn't accept me. So that really had me distraught, but I knew this is where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And although I had to do three years in junior college, I realized the true meaning of faith, the true meaning of perseverance, the true meaning of, of really working towards what you want to, want to pursue and apply. Even after being denied in high school, my third year of junior college, and got accepted. Wow. And then got a scholarship, you know. Wow. Got my first year of school paid for. Wow. You know, yeah. It was a blessing within that, but you know, it's you know, it's been a journey since. I, I really wonder, we, I mean obviously we were talking about it earlier, but I really wonder all the courage you had to muster to be able to yeah. put yourself out there to face rejection and possibly again. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I feel like life is all about taking risks and taking mm. chances. At this point in my life, I feel like the only thing worse that can happen to me is, is death. Mm. And I don't want to die knowing I didn't fulfill God's purpose for my mm. life. I don't want to die without leaving a legacy that, that is positive and that, that glorifies God. So, so, Zoe at, let's say 35, what is his day looking like? This is perfect. Everything goes the way you expect it to, plan it to, you know? So I got my wife, you know? Hey, she's a baddie. <laughs> you know, uh, I, got my, I got my stability financially, my stability spiritually. I'm educated, uh, I'm traveling, I got my kids, my children, you know, 35. 
35. 35, yeah. yeah. You know, by that time, I feel a lot of momentum. I'm, I'm around the world, I'm on TV. I'm in the works of building my, creating, my having my own school. I want to have my own school one day. School, okay. yeah. interesting. And I want to have my own multi, my, uh, multimedia company, so mm -hmm. um, that deals with music, you know, entertainment. 35, I'm making sure my family's good, my mom's taken care of, you know. And so, so the school, I know Zoe the Motivator, Zoe the Motivator is, you That's have- my other personality. Okay. But I have multiple personalities. I have Mogul Zoe. Mogul Zoe. Mogul yeah, Zoe. yeah, yeah. So Mogul Zoe is the business guy. Uh -huh. You know, Mogul Zoe is the guy that's, that's educated. You know, uh -huh. he's the, he's the, uh, you know, he, he's making the business moves. He's the one talking to corporations. He's the one uh, closing deals. He's mm -hmm. the one, you know, really doing his thing, having, just a business mogul mindset. I got Zoe where I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with the homies, I'm, I'm chilling, you know, I'm, I'm vibing with everybody. Lorenzo Murphy, that's all of them together. Mm -hmm. Zoe the motivator is the, the, the I'm spitting at the motivation, the, you know, I'm, I'm giving the motivational messages, I'm public speaking, I'm with the kids. You know, just, you know, it's, it's, it's different. So. Mm -hmm. And then I got Sozo. Oh, which, Sozo. Sozo, which is the artist, the, Oh, give us, give us a, give us a little, a little, tip, right. a little something, a little something, something. All right, all right. Shine on me, yeah. I said I need the sun to shine on me, yeah. I've been feeling every emotion that you've ever felt right now in this present moment. I need the sun to shine on me, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a love, you know. I sing, I rap, I write music. Oh, give us a couple a bars, a bars. A bars, okay. I've been fighting my fears daily, while some graduated and four. It took me seven years to reach my graduation. Mama, I made it. I left Compton and got a scholarship to college. Oh Lord, I give so thank you. See, pressure could either bust pipes, create diamonds, or teach your patience. I didn't mm. face setbacks, then bounce back. Now I'm close to my destination. Mm. And everything I'm going through is preparing me for what God's going to take me. Look, I've been locked in on my ground lately. And with every excuse to fail, I stay focused and motivated while being everyone else's motivation through pains and trials and tribulations. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. When you recognize that you had all this talent, did you think that you would like want to pursue a career of that or did you want to maybe go more on a hobby or you know what was well, that process the process was i guess because i've always dreamed of doing it I, okay one of the problems i deal with and this is me just being vulnerable i've always i've always tried to live up to people's expectations mm -hmm. i've always tried to please people mm -hmm. um, i've always wanted to do what people thought i should do and when it came to pursuing what I actually wanted to pursue in regards to like music, you know, people would be like, get a job. You know, that's not something that's not promised. You mm -hmm. want to get something that's stable. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. But, you know, I got to a point now in my journey where I'm by myself and I see that this could actually make it have an impact. I don't see myself working a job mm -hmm. or working a nine to five. I see myself using my abilities and my gifts and my, my information, the information I've gained mm -hmm. to, to really spring change. and. Uh, yeah, man, I just feel like you know, music is a way that I'm able to do that. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Man, so it's truly been my pleasure. I really appreciate having you all out here. Uh, appreciate your time and all of that, man. You know? Uh, got you. Uh, so, oh, social media. Um, social media. Website, if you had that. SoundCloud, all that. So, um, Black Planet, my Black Planet on my MySpace. I'm just saying, I don't have that. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, we're right. really going back. Um, but Instagram, Twitter, uh, it's all Zo the Motivator, Z O T H E M O T I V A T O R, and SoundCloud. You know, got music coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Got a lot of um, things I've been working on in regards to film, just business and ventures. So, yeah, just. Be on the lookout, man. Some great things about to take place, not only in my life, not only in rapper's life, but in all of our lives. Um, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Uh, and I look forward to see what God has planned, you know. This is me speaking to this camera. What time is it? Let me see. It's uh, 2.43 now. 2.43, I think it's November 30th, or what's the date? Yeah, it's November 30th. It's November 30th, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know where I will be in a few years. Mm -hmm. like. This is me telling you right now, like, I just, I'm dreaming. I, I'm working towards something, but 
When we look back at this footage, I'll be able to laugh, cry, and be like, dang, I remember not knowing what I wanted to do. You know? And whoever was out there watching this, if you're in the same position I'm in, or if you related to anything I said, like, know that we're going we're gonna to move through this together, and that God has a plan, and that we're going to do great things in this world. Just don't give up on your dreams, and don't live up to people's expectations. Live up to God. And uh, yeah, you're going to be good. Hey, hey, hey. Was so, 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 that was so, some that was some <laughs> That was some motivating wow. stuff. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go and conquer the world. Yeah. <laughs> but man, I really appreciate no it. Uh, and thank you guys so much for checking in on something interesting with Robert Rucker. You guys are the motivated today. Yo. All right. Yo, we're actually gonna record this time. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> He's just kidding. He's just kidding. Oh, like, damn. <laughs> Take two. So we good? Yeah, we good.